Hi, and welcome to Mixpanel. Mixpanel is a product analytics platform that makes it easy to understand how your customers convert, engage, and retain. Simply put, we give you data-driven answers to your most important user questions. Now let's dive in. As a starting point, Mixpanel measures each action at the individual user level. This is an example of a user profile. Our data model consists of a table for user actions or events, with each action containing useful metadata. We call these event properties. Event properties are attributes which describe the action the user has taken. For example, we might describe a video start event by including the video's name, category, and context. On the left-hand side, we have a table of user-level properties, which describe the user and might include attributes like user ID, plan type, experiment group, and perhaps lifetime value. Our two distinct data models let you understand who your user is, where they are in their journey, and how they got there, all through our easy-to-use tools. And this data model can be easily replicated to capture other types of entities that aren't individual users, like companies in a SaaS product, posts and conversations in a social app, or projects and boards in productivity software. No other analytics tool in the market lets you do this type of analysis, and that makes Mixpanel uniquely powerful in answering your most important questions. Let's walk through a day in the life of a product manager using Mixpanel. You would probably start your morning here on your own personal Mixpanel dashboard. You can build this dashboard for yourself and you can schedule it to be emailed to another member of your team. You can have favorited dashboards and you can also see what other teammates are working on. The dashboards themselves support all of the metrics you're used to seeing in your BI tool, from time series graphs, quarter over quarter comparisons, conversion rates, it's all here and you can filter your data so that you can see the metrics you care about and nothing else. But we do a little more than just show the metrics. One key benefit of a self-serve analytics tool is that individuals can do research, form hypotheses, and answer questions quickly. Enabling you to go further with your data is a critical part of this workflow. As we glance at this dashboard, we might notice that a conversion rate along one of our key flows is decreasing. What do you do? In the old world, we might email an analyst, ask for deeper insight, and perhaps wait a week before making any kind of plan. Luckily, we can dive right into the data ourselves. So we'll dive into Mixpanel's flows report and use the query builder to create the salient steps in our funnel. We're focused on failed conversions. So between each step, we'll add a new flow of events to see exactly what our users are doing when they are not moving across our key funnel. This data begs a new question. What if our users arrive at their destination via a totally different path than the one we may have created or anticipated for them? Luckily, we can use the flows report to explore the top conversion paths and get a full picture of the user's journey. As a product manager, when you wanna understand how your users got from the homepage through account creation, onboarding, content discovery, and eventually monetization, this sand key visualization in flows gives us the full map, and the top paths analysis highlights where the areas of highest success are. This data is now an important input for us to improve the experience for a very important set of our end users. So we can now take our revised flow and bring that into Mixpanel's funnels. There are many important ways to view a funnel. Success isn't only measured as a static conversion rate, but also as a function of time, distribution, conversion over time, and many other avenues. Mixpanel gives you a view into all of the facets of the user journey, providing a highly tweakable interface that lets us more deeply understand these dimensions. For example, we can tweak our funnel to count the total number of conversions and see that as a trend over time. We can hold constant the search terms in every session to see if users are searching repeatedly for the same content. We can then break this metric down into component parts by using event properties, and then look at time to complete this funnel as a histogram. And we can do this with confidence because Mixpanel has added guardrails around things like statistical significance so that you aren't chasing the wrong insight. 
Let's isolate this group of users who dropped off after searching. I'll click into my funnel to place this group, which I'll call search abandoners, into a cohort. This cohort now becomes a new metric, which I can use in every Mixpanel report. That's right, dynamic user cohorts are a one-click proposition in Mixpanel. This is just one of the many features that makes Mixpanel a best-in-class analytics platform. Let's go a bit further in this analysis. Is search abandonment decreasing or increasing over time? And how does that track with some of the search-related experiments we're running to incentivize users to view more content with the hope that they'll eventually make a purchase? In Insights, we have an interactive query builder that lets us answer these types of follow-up questions. It's almost as easy as asking the question in plain English. Mixpanel, show me how search abandoners trend over time. Then, let's add in the number of search-related experiments that were performed over time. And let's break everything out by the experiment variant to see which experiment the users got and which leads to the highest search abandonment. We didn't have to write any SQL or assign a ticket to another team. Doing proper analysis doesn't have to be a struggle. Mixpanel unblocks us to do our own analysis. In this particular analysis, we have, in fact, observed a troubling pattern of repeat search behavior that we'd like to steer our users away from. So one product hypothesis might be, what if we actively promoted the ability to save a search or maybe add content to a wish list? If we did this, would our conversion rate increase? All right, we're going to fast forward 30 days. We've run the experiment. It's time to call it. Did it work? We'll answer this question in two ways. The first way uses Mixpanel's causal inference modeling. More simply put, does adding content to a watch list impact users' likeliness to view more content? If we didn't have Mixpanel, this would be a very complicated question to answer. However, Mixpanel's impact report makes it easy for us to frame our question in this way and get an immediate result. And you just love to see that impact. Now let's observe this experiment in a different way using our experiment and reporting framework. In this interface, we'll take two defined cohorts of users, a control group who wasn't in the experiment and one of our variant groups. We'll use an existing dashboard of KPIs to calculate the rate of success, delta, lift, and confidence intervals for each goal metric in each cohort. And we don't have to dig in any further to see that this watch list experiment was a smashing success. Calling an experiment successful is a really big deal. Some of our largest customers like Uber, Indeed, VRBO, their data science teams have entire systems calling for experiments all the time. Mixpanel is the first line of research that business stakeholders use to get a sense for how experiments are trending and whether or not the features that are being tested are in fact effective. This helps organizations be more nimble with their data. The business stakeholders can come to the data team more informed with pointed questions and productive conversations. Of course, Mixpanel isn't just for product managers. These workflows provide time-saving analyses for data scientists who are running quick segmentation on experimental data. Mixpanel has tools for analysts, creating dashboards for management and executive teams. There are modules for growth marketers and SEO professionals doing deep dives into funnel optimization. Ideally, anyone with a question where the answer is data should be able to quickly and efficiently get insights by using Mixpanel. That is our goal. It is the thing Mixpanel is hyper-focused on. Mixpanel makes it possible to unlock rapid analysis of your product data so that you can understand your users quickly, generate ideas for experiments, and then measure the effects of those tests in one easy to use tool. And we believe that when you are nimble with your data, you greatly mitigate the risk of the product bets that you make because your assumptions are based on accurate, reliable, unsampled truth. That is the power of data. But you don't have to take my word for it. We invite you to check out some of the demo environments that we've created so you can click around in Mixpanel today and see how it works for yourself. Thanks for watching.